Hello viewers, uh, today I will try to cook up some carbon nanofibers out of thin air. Uh, this is supposedly possible using electrolysis and uh, the theory goes more or less like this, that you have molten lithium carbonate um, and you drive some current through it. The current will separate lithium carbonate into carbon uh, oxygen and then uh, lithium oxide. Now the uh, oxygen will bubble out near the anode, the uh, carbon will get uh, stuck on the cathode and the lithium oxide will stay with the molten lithium carbonate. Uh, lithium oxide is able to capture um, carbon dioxide from the air and that will turn it back to lithium carbonate. Um, now if you select the anode to be nickel and the cathode to be steel uh, with uh, some zinc on top, like a galvanized steel, um, and you start the electrolysis with, uh, with uh, low current. So uh, then, uh, supposedly, the, the carbon that you get on the cathode will contain uh, um, a lot of carbon nanofibers. And, and um, yeah, this is what I'm going to try to do today. Um, I have here here some equipment that will help me help me to do it. Um, I have a steel pot for containing the lithium carbonate. Um, I have uh, insulated it with rock wool so that the heat doesn't uh, dissipate too fast from there. Uh, I have an um, induction stove which will heat up the, um, the steel pot and between the, um, the induction stove and the, and the pot I have, I have um, some air space um, I have this um, ventilation system <laughs> I built that, that uh, keeps the, the induction stove cold Otherwise it would, uh, or cold enough, otherwise it would shut, uh, shut up. Um, so, what else? Uh, yeah, I have a thermometer here that, uh, that tells me how hot, hot the lithium carbonate is. It should be uh, 730 degrees at least for this. Um, I have, uh, I have um, low voltage uh, high current uh, DC power source and uh, and then I have uh, some multimeters that I can uh, use to to measure the voltage and the current um, and then then I have also the electrodes the, the nickel anode and the galvanized steel cathode that I'll lower there to the pot uh, later on I'll show them later so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, just try to turn, turn the stove on, let's, let's see if I manage. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a put lid, lid on, the, on the pot so that it will uh, heat up a bit faster. also made of rock wool. Okay, oh, yeah, I have to connect the, the fans also. So that the 
injection scope doesn't uh, switch off. Right. So now, now I'll just watch the the thermometer here, and uh, I let it rise up to to seven seven hundred uh, uh, fifty degrees. Uh, Celsius. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'll I'll, uh, I'll finish up the the electrodes. The the cathodes are are still still just uh, just this piece of uh, of metal here. Now this is the the earlier support I I used, and uh, I'll just unscrew the the old uh, cathode and, and put put this new one there Okay, I I think it should be should be molten now. Uh, not certain, uh, but let's see. At least the temperature is okay. It's just that sometimes it uh, takes some time for everything to melt, like all the lithium carbonate to melt. Let's see. Okay. Looks good. I think it's all all melted. So I'll uh, I'll put the electrodes in without burning myself. Okay, there it goes. Um, zinc on the cathode has some weird. Uh, reaction there, like flashes and, and uh, some popping sound. But yeah, looks good. So I'll just pull it up. Then I'll put the electricity on. Okay. Um, but first, I should just get fifty milliamps. nothing current. Just raising carefully. Okay now. So 
50, 50 milliamps is there. Oh, almost. A bit more. Okay. So I'll, I'll have it uh, 10 minutes on 50 milliamps and then I'll raise it uh, bit by bit uh, during, during uh, about 15 minutes to, to 1 amp which is more or less a current density of uh, 0.1 amps per uh, square centimeter. I'll try to keep her temperature between uh, 750 and 760. And um, the higher the temperature, the, the easier current flows through the electrolyte. Now I've had the um, electrolysis on for 10 minutes with, uh, with uh, low current. Uh, next I'm going to, to uh, raise the current bit by bit to 1 amp. And then I'm going to let it simmer for 2 hours. Uh, and that, and uh, let's see how it looks afterwards. Okay, two hours are up, so I'll uh, I'll remove the electrodes now let's see if we find any carbon There it is, red hot carbon on the cathode. Looking nice, good layer. Yay! <laughs> I put this here to cool side here. I'm going to run another another experiment immediately. I'll put a fresh set of electrodes yeah, into the mix. There. And cook it up. the lead back on uh, this time I'm going to try to have the uh, temperature between 730 and 740 and I'm going to to have a bit longer uh, low current step I'm going to have 30 minutes at the at 50 milliamps. Okay, let's take a look still at the cooling cathode. Let's see. Uh, porcelain uh, chopsticks have excellent thermal shock uh, resistance. I, I just took it out from the from the hot uh, oven and, and uh, directly to cold and still still it's uh, 
uh, intact. This is the nickel anode. There's nothing there. Just a bit of uh, of electrolyte, the lithium carbonate left. It's the white white thing. And uh, then the cathode. Okay. Yeah, now it looks looks uh, nice and black. There's some some white lithium carbonate there. But otherwise, yeah, nice nice um, layer of carbon. Uh, there's some uh, lithium carbonate, or I don't know, lithium type snow on top of the the support. But yeah, I I, I would need to take this to a lab to to see if there's actually any any um, carbon nanofibers in it uh, it's impossible to see from it here it's just black yeah thank you thank you for watching